You're watching Coin 6 News with Emily Burris and Travis Tyke, watching out for you. Welcome back. Well, after closing its doors two years ago, the dessert shop Pix Patisserie is making a comeback, and they've partnered up with Agro Dose Distilling Company for a summer lineup of fun and drinks. Yeah, so we had to send Cor Harlan. He joins us now from Pix Patisserie on East Burnside this morning. Cor, what's in store? Well, I got a lot of cool things going on here. Uh, this is kind of a, I mean, my way of saying it's kind of a reboot of uh, Pix Patisserie. Uh, Tobias Hogan next to me here might have a little different take on that. We are uh, behind the bar at Agrodolce Distillery here this morning. This is kind of your uh, brainchild here of putting yeah. all these new gins together. First of all, let's start with the gin itself because uh, that's what uh, butters the bread, correct? I mean, tell me a little bit about yeah, your yeah. process Pri of making Primarily gin. Primarily, we're the, a gin distillery, so we uh -huh. use a, a neutral spirit. Uh -huh. We infuse it with local herbs wherever we can and classic gin herbs, uh -huh. juniper, coriander, and then we add other things. This one in particular one has sage, uh -huh. among other things. Like and this will hit the uh, liquor stores uh, scheduled for July, right? Scheduled for early uh -huh. July will be in liquor stores, yep. Uh -huh. And it's batch made, uh -huh. so we do small batches. It's very craft hands-on uh -huh. by me. Moving on a little bit, I want to get into these canned <clears throat> cocktails because these are all the rage now. And these are all kind of gin-focused canned cocktails, right? Yeah, mostly gin-focused except for the, the mule, which has uh -huh. cold-pressed ginger juice. Uh -huh. Otherwise, we have our classic cocktails, Bee's Knees, Gimlet, that use our house gin. Uh -huh. And then at the bar, we also do things like the gin ricky, uh -huh. uh, gin and tonic, the gin and then ricky. other things like this is a take on the blood and sand that we use tequila and mezcal. And the idea is for these canned cocktails to taste just like you're sitting there at the bar shaking them up and you yeah. pour them up. You can, take, you can have these here, you can pick them up and take them home and do all the rest of that too. Yeah, right? exactly. That's a cool deal. It's a one-stop shop. You grab some And then cans. so moving along here down the bar, this is a really cool concept and this looks really neat. I had no idea tin seafoods. Uh, were such a thing with with a cocktail, but it's a perfect kind of yeah. It's a great combo. volume of food, I guess. Right? Oh yeah, it's a great snack. You can come in, you pop in, you have a little drink, uh -huh. a martini, uh, light, refreshing, and it goes great with what some mussels. Mussels, yeah, yeah, mussels. and a little escabeche. Some, some pickled foods, a little bread, and you can pick up these as well. They've got a cooler full of this. Is uh, the tin cocktail? Yeah, tin, uh, seafoods huge selection as well. of yeah? tin seafood that yeah. you can take away or you can have here. You can mix and match your own board, or you can do one that we suggest. Less than thirty seconds to go. I know they have. Mo you guys have movie nights out here on the patio. Tell me about the flamingo night too. Flamenco. Flamenco. Uh, Spanish yeah. flamenco uh -huh. uh, demo. There'll be dancers, music, um, and that'll be coming up in August. So hot August nights with flamenco live on the patio. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, there's always something to do here. Check them out. Uh, go to our website for a more thorough and detailed list of things going on here because I have a whole schedule of activities planned out here yep. in the patio and in the bar here uh, from Agro Dulce Distillery this morning here at 22nd and East Burnside. That's the old Pix Patisserie location. It's still the Pix Patisserie location. Yep. Pix and the pix are still out here. If you you know the pix right? They made it through the pandemic with uh, two vending machines that they kept filling with stuff and it turned out to be such a popular hit. They have actually now a third vending machine to put cakes and pies in and bigger, bigger scale items uh, from the bakery here. So it's a cool thing, yeah. lots going on, lots coming up this summer and a lot of it. And Agro Dolce here is focused on gin cocktails, whether you take them home and pour them over ice, buy them at the liquor store in July, or just sit here at the bar. Have a martini. Have a martini and belt down some good martini for, for the summertime with some canned seafood here. Sounds like a good, good deal for breakfast. Yeah, sounds, sounds pretty good yeah, yeah. For, for all palates there. I feel like gin has had quite yeah, the come yeah, up as of late. I feel like that has been kind of the, the, the spring Especially or the summer Portland. seasonal drink. Yeah, yeah I feel like yeah. a lot of gin cocktails. Lots mm -hmm. of new distillers. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm glad to see, I remember when that space was Bar Vivant, so I'm, I'm glad to see that that space has a new a new life to it. And yeah. they've got new fun stuff coming in there because it is a great little spot on Burnside. Those vending machines. They're pretty so, cool, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah they are. they're, they're pretty neat. Pretty mm -hmm. neat. All right, Kelly, while we step out the door, what are we walking into right now? You know, pretty dry, nice morning, very 